So we first look at how to pre-process a machine translation data set. We mentioned it before for NLPs, it's so usually hard to do data set pre-processing because we, we, are talk, we will use the same data set in the, for, uh, in the few new models in the following. So we just uh, make a sing, single uh, chapter how to pre-process this data set. Okay. We download the tiny data set from uh, an, um, a website called Many Things. Like we pick up the f a French to English. Uh, there are a lot of languages you can try English to a lot of different languages, like uh, 20 languages you can pick up anyone. And so then, like you download it, it's actually a text data set. You just uh, decode as UTF-8. You will see that uh, this data set is pretty, uh, like this is a source sentence and this is a, 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 a space, and you get the target sentence here. So each, each example is just a pair in a single line, and source sentence is a target sentence. So it's, that's pretty short sentences here. Um, so this is pretty small data set. All these are short sentences, like easy ones. So we do a little bit like uh, this because like if you go beyond English, you have a lot of uh, UTF-8 characters here. We do a little bit simple like pre-processing. Uh, this thing is called uh, half space. <laughs> it's a UTF-8 half space. Some languages use it. Uh, we just replace them by the space in the plain text. Um, also, um, we have questions before like uh, uh, if you, uh, all these like, uh, guys, we hear uh, for machine translation, that's important. Like for language model, it doesn't matter too much because we care about the words. But here, uh, we make this like a token. Not just, we just make it, think of this as a word. So because we want to predict the calling uh, uh, character for them. So, so this way, how we treat all the specialized tokens is really dependent on the application here. So then we do pre-processing, we make it into a lowercase, uh, adding space, right? This is wrong, actually. This is doesn't adding all this <laughs> thing. Like uh, this, maybe this is a spatial uh, question mark, I don't know. <laughs> but a lot of, well, you, for LPs, you, you always have a lot of noises there. So then the next thing we do tokenizations. So each word, each, to each word will be a, token, also we have all these uh, like uh, specialized things. So, um, so then we put all this as tokens. So you can see that an example contains two pair of lists. The first list is a source language sentence. The second list is the, um, well, uh, let me see. Okay, uh, so, this, so this is the source language pair, and this is a target language pair. So this, so this is the training data set. This is a training examples. This is a target. The target is different. It's a sequence, not just a single word. We can see that like uh, this is a histogram of this source language and target language. You can see almost like this is a very short uh, data set. In average, everybody has five words. Okay, including all the specialized uh, tokens, uh, just five words. And the source, the, the source language, target language, the f looks like the French is a little bit longer like, than English. So this, you see that. But in general, they're pretty easy. Uh, any, sen any, sequ any sentence is less than 10 words. So that's, we know that the max length could be choose by 10, or you even choose a small, more, small one. You can choose by eight. You know that maximum, you don't have so long sentences. So similarly, we build the vocabulary. The only difference here is that we need to build the vocabulary for both source data set, the source data set, and also the target data set. It's a pretty tiny model, so the, the, unique, the unique words in the English is only by uh, 4,000. And similarly, we need to do like uh, for the, oh, so let, let me not to be fast. First build the so vocabulary for the source uh, data set is English. Like uh, the minimum frequency we choose by three, and we use specialized token equals two means like we need to add all this begin of sentence, end of sentence, uh, specialized tokens. 
So then, also padding, uh, we want to pad, uh, uh, we want to padding all this, um, like we pick up um, a line, give a max length similar to before, if it's larger than the max length, we just drop some words. If it's less than, we just padding with a padding token here. Um, so if we give the source sentence, we padding, we padding then the source text sentence only have two words and we padding them with a bunch of zeros at the end to get 10. So that's, that's what we did before. Now we can build the race that like, given, given a bunch of lines, given a vocabulary, and given max length. And the only thing here, the difference here, if it's a source language, we can padding as before. But if it's a target language, we need adding all this beginning of sentence and end of sentences into the each line. So that's the difference because for decoding, you want to know the beginning of when to start, when to stop. That's uh, because the prediction have different length. We want to have the specialized tokens here. So um, if it's not a source, like we can, we need adding uh, the beginning of sentence before the line, adding, adding the end of sentence after the line. After that, we just padding a bunch of zero to make it the same length. That's as what we did before. Okay, so this is the only difference we have. And lastly, we compute the valid length. That's another key like a concept here. So the valid length for each sentence, because we padding a bunch of zero, we want to know that how many I, uh, just tokens are not just paddings. So we call the valid length which is, for each example, it's a scalar which store like uh, how many number of tokens is not just a padding. We want to compute the loss function similar as we did before. We don't want to compute loss just to predict the padding token. That is what we, the valid length looks for. It's a little bit different to what we have is a mask. The mask means like uh, if its length is 100, the mask will be 100 length vector. It's, it's zero, it's, it's one means that it's not padding, it's zero means padding. But you just make it the number of one thing in the mask. So we call it a single value called the valid length. Okay. Okay, so finally loading the data set is also pretty um, uh, similar as before. The only thing here like show that we need to build source vocabulary side, vocabulary and a targeted vocabulary because they are share different um, words for different languages. Similarly, we have the source arrays, the source valid length, and target arrays, target valid length. So this data set, we have four inputs. The source the array, which is a bunch of tokens, the valid length, the, the number of non-padding tokens in each example, the target array, the target valid length, the four things here. Okay, so this is the, another difference compared to before, like the input data will be a little bit more complicated. Lastly, we can show something here, like uh, actually read, and let's actually read the data. So we create a data called the machine, uh, like a machine, uh, newer, newer machine translation, batch size equal to two, max length equal to eight. We can see that we have four things up here, X is the source, it's a, it's a source, uh, like each line is a source a sentence. Zero means it's a padding. So this is all these paddings. Um, so the first length is four, the second sentence length is five. All the other things are just zeros. So then the valid length equals like it's a length two vector, which is, the vec is a batch size length vector. It's recording number is four, or it's five. Similarly to the talk, uh, talk the sentence, like uh, French is a little bit longer. Uh, you can see that like uh, this one, according to the French is by, by indexing, uh, this is specialized begin of sentence token, it's a one always. And this is actually the French uh, sentences, the sentence, and then this is the end of sentence specialized token. And adding a, a padding here. But this one is tricky, uh, it's too long. 
We even dropped all this padding, uh, dropped all this uh, end of sentence token and all the padding tokens. So uh, the reason we choose eight is like, uh, it's make uh, uh, computation much easier. You can, you can, you can choose long, but uh, you can use near more computations. Then at the end, you have valid length of the target sentence. It's A, seven, and eight. So you can get all this uh, information we have. So this is a single batch for machine translation. Okay? 